Let's talk women talk. A bilingual literary translator who also has a huge passion for Indian classical music, Bing Chu exemplifies what it means to live life to the fullest. I had the absolute privilege of sitting down with this multi-talented and dynamic lady, who shared with me her enthusiasm for learning new things and how she applies and loves the art of language. Bing Chu, thank you so much. You are so amazing. <laughs> It's my pleasure. It's how how do you start singing uh, Tamil songs? In 2005, I walked past Singapore Art Museum. I heard an Indian woman singing, and the voice was very, very nice. So I walked into a concert, Southern Indian a vocal concert, and the voice of the woman was very moving. Although I didn't know a word what they were singing, I know tears fell. So two years later, I was uh, walking in the Bishan Park near my house. Again, I heard this kind of singing. Oh, very powerful voice, you no? Know, and very moving, and it's like sounds like Indian. So I uh, went to look it up and then you know to check which flat you know uh, was the voice so coming to... from. I actually went, went to knock on the door. Oh my goodness! Yeah, awesome. yeah, and I found a, uh, I found a lady <laughs> singer, uh, middle-aged lady, singing uh, for a, a girl, teenage girl, who was rehearsing for her Indian dance called Bharatanatyam. I knew the mother. She was, I used to sell, set up a store in the market. So she told me, "Oh, please come to my daughter's concert." Indian dance concert. I went after the show. Uh, she said, "Oh, this lady, Mrs. Bagia, who was singing for my daughter, is actually a vocalist and she teaches singing." You went for you started going for private classes. Yes. Um, to learn how to sing these yeah. Carnatic music uh, uh, yeah. songs, uh, songs that are called ragas. Uh, uh, ragas. And um, I mean, how was the journey like? I mean, this is like 10 years ago, right? Mm, how how has yeah. the journey like been? Uh, you know, been for you? I mean, because it's a whole new language and yeah. whole new different set of tones and everything. How has it been like? Then the teacher was very impressed. Uh, Say, how come this Chinese woman can do the beat so accurately? You know, by the five, uh, fifth month, he asked me to go and sit for competition, go and join competition. <laughs> he pushed me to it, and I got actually I got fourth place. Uh. Wow! There were five winners. Ah, uh. okay. Note the first three are children and teenagers who have learned for like ten years. So the fourth one, I don't, I don't know whether it's, uh, it's uh, how to say, out of courtesy or whatever. No, I'm sure. You They gave me <laughs> fourth place. So. It was very interesting, ah, uh. yeah, yeah. What do they say to you when they see you there? Like you know, like oh, one, maybe one they... Chinese person in. Oh, like... they like they all like like me very much. The, really? Especially the old ladies love me very much. <laughs> I also like to hug them. You know, they got a lot of energy, and they're so so warm and gentle. I mean, it's 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 just like your dedication towards um um a music from a language that is not even your mm. mother tongue <laughs> is yeah. so fascinating. I mean, uh, what what do people say when they find out that you sing Indian classical music? Um, frankly speaking, most Chinese do not get to listen to my singing, but it's the Indians that really appreciate. Mm. And also, okay, uh, apart from singing, I. Because I, I'm actually attracted to Indian energy, uh, so I tried to visit, uh, visit a little India and started uh, taking Indian food, vegetarian, and I find yeah. that it's very, very good uh, for my health. Yeah, wow. it really increases my energy. So it's a in Indian way of life, right? You know, especially um, vegetarian one. It's, this is really fascinating. I mean, you've always been very, very good at languages. I mean, you are first and foremost a translator. You've translated many, many of your husband's books. Uh, your husband, of course, is a cultural medallion winner. Um, but fascinating for me is that you've translated like all a lot of his books, and you were working, of course, as a journalist before. And this this fascination that you have for languages. Or why do you have such a strong passion for languages? So I wrote, I wrote to the Straits Times bilingual section. Because for that section, you have to write your news report in two languages. Wow. Yeah, you know, it, the, the, it, me, the, it goes like this. I interview uh, somebody from Beijing, a scholar or head of a, a painting academy. After that, I put that all down in English. Wow, it's hard enough like then writing translate. in English and then you... Uh, uh, you... No, speaking, okay, interviewing in Mandarin, yeah. writing oh, in English, in... then translating in Chinese. One oh more. <laughs> One more <laughs> process, you know, not so simple. What, 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 what did you learn no, 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 from, oh, from no. that? Oh, because the people I interview are really hate, heads of uh, you know, uh, academies, musicians, scholars, yeah. writers. So, I, uh, I, before interviewing them, I would like go through the books. Uh, I go to exhibition, 
shows and I learned from the artists and uh, started buying books about Chinese painting and uh, calligraphy. Wow. And okay, also trying to collect some books on the subject written by those scholars. Uh, no, I'm just I'm just uh, thinking like you interview in Chinese and then you have to write it out in English uh, and then you've got to translate it into Mandarin. Mandarin again, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's actually hard work, but I really enjoy it, you know, because I learned a lot of knowledge from the people, the interviewees. I see. Oh, I learned about Chinese culture, Chinese literature, music, and Chinese art, which uh, actually became my specialty. Uh. But it must be so uh, difficult to be able to do that. I mean, it's not just about yeah. translating it. Like you know, you have to be able to know how to phrase it in, in a way yeah, as yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah. Not literature just like you're not just translating word by word. Because especially mm. when it comes to Chinese literature, yes. you know, you need to encapsulate the meaning of yeah, what yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the yes, poet yes. is trying to oh, say. I would say I, I admit it's very difficult for me because I did not study English literature. I mean, whatever I know, I can write. It's actually more about journalism and feature. I wanted to do because my husband's writing is very very good. In fact. You know, but if I don't do, who else will translate? Mm. You can't find people to do translation in Singapore. In fact, actually, Singapore as a country has the greatest potential you know, for bilingualism in the world. Because whatever you want to learn in English, you can, yeah. right? BBC, everything, all yeah. the big journals, uh, you know, Herald Tribune and all that. And then for Chinese, you can go to the library and study uh, Tang, Tang Shi Song Si La, Tang Poem. So I feel that Singaporean can be very, very bilingual. I think uh, discovering knowledge is fun, you know, especially knowledge about literature. It's like there's so much to learn. Uh. I felt I knew very little and I was like so eager to get into it, you know. You, you know, you, your vigour for life is, is amazing. You have so much, uh, I'm sure, so much ahead of you. And, and I mean, what do you, what do you um, want to tell like the younger people? I mean, I'm oh. sure you have so much to say, right? Whether it's bilingualism mm. or, mm. you know, about just loving life. What do you have to say to them? I feel it's, it's very lucky for a person to fall in love with something, you know, to have passion for doing something. Because that passion will, you know, will stay with you for whole life. You've got to seek, uh, look for something everlasting that will like um, keep your heart, you know, pounding. <laughs> keep you joyous, yeah, right? Joyous. Yeah, yeah. retired for quite a long time mm, now. What, yeah. what, what, is, what have you um, done in retirement and, and, and you know, how have you kind of like lived a very fulfilled kind of retirement? I, I try to say it like passion in something uh, versus a reliance on a person, you know what I mean? Passion, human passion. Um, we, we must develop the ability to be happy even when we're alone all the time until the end. Uh. Mm. And I think that music can do this. Music have the magic, you know, to make you happy. And actually, okay, my greatest desire is to is to die when I'm singing oh. or dancing. I, I would like to die singing. Oh, it's like how I'm going the, to die the, at the piano, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> oh my God, but you never hope for that, right? You never thought about, you're still young. <laughs> I mean, especially in this commercial society, people you know, they are eager to seek profits. They, they don't, um, they're not interested in what other people are doing, which are good, you know. Actually, they can pick up from them as examples. Because you learn a lot from speaking uh, with other people. Yeah, and like when you said you learn yeah. a lot from speaking with the scholars and things like that yeah. as well. And just watching <laughs> you sing today and you know being able to jam with you and hearing you speak and meeting you and you've got so much to offer. And I think mm. for us that is, you know, I mean in itself is so successful. You but know, and, I mean, and I, I, what I, I really admire is that your ability to just not stop learning. <laughs> yeah. You know, you've had a very fulfilling life. I mean, it, it, not just your career. I mean, your career, you were a journalist and hmm. did like really amazing work there and you know, a little bit about translation and retired and all that. But you've had such a full life. What advice do you have for someone like me? Okay, for me, I think we, 
Yeah, we, sometimes we, when we see somebody very inspiring, we say, oh, how I wish and I'm like her. But actually, our inclinations are very different. So we will never be like another person. Mm, it's true. just be, you know, that we try to strive for things interesting to do lah, mm. and to help other people to show our concern. Yeah, that's all. A lot of things we can't, we can't, uh, can't help a lot, you know, especially you know, when it comes to like, emotional problems or psychological problems. But just uh, stay by them and support them, listen to them. I think that's all we can do. All, uh, expose them to music. Well, Bing Chiu, I mean, it's um, fascinating. I, I, it's probably one of the most, uh, 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 you know, um, very, very different interviews that we've ever <laughs> yeah, done yeah. on the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you so much. I, I love your energy so much. And I think what I've learned uh, from you really is that, you know, you just never stop learning and you, you yeah. can never, you know, it's just whatever that you want to learn as long as you kind of put in the effort to do it. I have to ask you, what is empowerment to you? Everybody has to be equipped with some skill or some you know, hobby or something they like to do. So if you know something, you know you are empowered. Yeah, so, and if you are healthy, you are empowered, right? Because you, you can run your life, you can live a life freely doing what you like and that's enough empowerment for that's ordinary true. people. Yeah. Wow, I mean, thank you Bing Chu. I, <laughs> I, I feel like if you, if just in this today, just spending like half a day with you or, or you know, I, I've learned so much from you and uh, I, I will never forget like, mm. you know, everything that you've said today and your beautiful voice. And I think I look thank forward to our much, next uh. jamming session. Ah, yes, sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh. Thank you. Yeah, for having thank me uh, no, in your you. program. Uh. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank cool. you. Bing Chu's curiosity for life is truly admirable and infectious. She shows us the importance of constantly pursuing your passions even as you grow older and how it is never too late to pick up something new. Thank you so much for watching Women Talk. Here are more stories of inspiring women just for you.